Hello everybody and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I am 4040 and today we're going to have a quick little look at the new Space Marine update. So it's not a campaign because the campaign unfortunately is just Imperials. We're just going to have a quick look at the skirmish game. I have a uh, Space Marines chapter fleet with the uh, Ultramarines, but you also have the options of playing as Imperial Fists, Dark Angels, Space Wolves, Blood Angels. So, uh, as you can see, I've played this for a very short amount of time, because I'm only rank 2 there. But just to have a look, to have a look to see uh, if the update had applied itself correctly, and also to quickly get a few ships. So I could show you guys what the Space Marine fleet list looks like. Without me just going, huh, there's a load of escorts. I can't do fuck with those escorts. Okay, so this is what the Space Marine uh, fleet ships generally look like. They are more stubbier than the Imperial fleets and don't have the big pointed ram on the front of armour. reason for that is the Space Marine fleet ships are made out of armour. They are the same as the heavily armoured prowl fronts. And what you have, uh, you start off with these uh, these little guys, these little light cruiser variants of the Space Marine ships. And uh, I've managed to unlock a uh, Strike Cruiser, Strike Cruiser Mark 1. Now, as you can see down here, its armour is 75 across the board, which means these ships do well against um, kind of broadside type weapons, torpedoes, bombers. Don't do so well against lances, because lances screw your armour value up. And so, what we are going to do is... Well, I don't have any upgrades, but we're going to throw ourselves into a battle. We don't know what's coming up, I don't know what we've prepared for, and we have got a very basic fleet. Now, the good thing about Space Marine fleets is um, pretty much every ship is a carrier in its own little way. They don't have dedicated carriers. But what they do have is the ability to launch a few, so all of them can launch a load of fighters, a small, load of small components of fighters and bombers, and it kind of adds up to having quite a large carrier force, and the death of one ship is not going to adversely affect your carrier capability on whole as the fleet. The downside of this is they only put out a few as opposed to entire uh, wings of fighters like a proper dedicated carrier fleet would be able to. The other good thing about the Space Marines when it comes to carriers is that their ships, the, the ships that the carriers put out, the fighters and bombers and stuff, aren't actually fighters and bombers. They're Thunderhawk gunships. And there are two variants of the Thunderhawk gunships. Both variants act as fighters and at the same time either act as assault ships or bombers depending on their payload. So uh, yeah, they're quite nice. They're good at defence. So we've got a 300 point game. It is a straight cruiser clash against the Eldar. Hmm, problems. So you've got the fastest fleet in the game versus one of the slowest fleets in the game. But if I can pin the Eldar in place. So we're going to go with our cruiser because, uh, you know, cruisers are good. We've got close range armor penetrating goodness as well as the standard stuff that it comes with. A Stormhawk Squadron, Supercharged Void Shield and Thunderhawks. So we's, uh, I've upped my toughness. These are brawling ships at the end of the day. And I'm going to go with something that has a uh, slow field. Uh, that's a disruption bomb. We want the stasis bomb. So we're going to go with the stasis bomb. So we've got two ships. That's the other bad point of the Space Marines. You're very tough, you're very good brawlers, you've got pretty good weapons all around and you've got your bombardment cannons that are at the strength of but, uh, the strength of broadsides but are count as lances instead. Bad side of this is, well, you don't get many. You will always be outnumbered because these each ship is counts as kind of like an elite or legendary ship, even in the uh, the actual tabletop game, Battlefleet Gothic from when Games Workshop released it. So, uh, yeah, Space Marine Forces were... You'd, you'd have to cut... It's a cruiser clash. The Space Marine Forces work well by concentrating their forces and forcing the enemy to come to them. I'm going to force the enemy to come to me through those rocks because Elder do not like taking damage too much. So we've got fighters. Uh, we've got uh, Thunderhawks. These particular Thunderhawks... Um, 
count as assault actions, and this are also the assault variants of them. I just had to quickly read that. But we also have a Stormhawk squadron as well, which is uh, fighters. So we're going to probably deploy... We're going to put that on auto-deploy, and I'm going to put boarding action on automatic to see if we can. And the idea is to try and kind of nail the Elder into place. So we're going to move our ships towards these... Um, high damage errors which should do consistent damage and if the elder ships are stupid enough to come through these areas I'm going to pin them in place with my stasis bomb just just to do damage so we've got our fighters uh, up ahead of us and I'm also going to launch these now these uh, will act as fighters but they will they launch like a salt craft and bomber craft. So the AI is that if you target an enemy, they will launch them all in a big wave. So we've got an enemy ship uh, just off here on the map and an enemy ship over there. So this guy is coming through this field. So he's he's doing he is doing exactly what I want him to do because he's Eldar. Well, that an Eldar ship should be relatively easy to kill. He's also fast, but that's no, oh, he's slowed down and he's going around. Okay. I can't quite put the stasis bomb kind of up where I want, so I'm just going to leave it there. And see what these guys do. Right, pin them in place. It's not going to, it's not quite going to pin them in place there. Okay, so they are attempting to do the same thing to me and pin me in place because they are launching torpedoes at me. Now, if you see, uh, my my defensive ships are trying to stop them. It's, I'm going to take a couple of hits. I'm going to get rid of that fire on board. We're taking a lot of damage. We've just managed to kill an Elder ship. Now, the Elders are good at doing a lot of alpha damage. So, I am just going to put Brace for impact. We're killing off their escorts really quickly. Because their escorts aren't aren't too good at defending themselves, especially if you force them to slow down. Now at the moment they've got good protection. My shield is recharging. I've not really taken much damage. But you see how difficult it is to. Okay, I've just taken a, a weapons damage result. I'm gonna. Yep. So we've just taken. Uh, we've slowed them down, and they start taking damage. Yep. He's just sped up because he had to get out of there, and he's just got out of there as well. But now he's moved into somewhere which is very inadvisable for him to move to. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. My slow field is still kind of not working too well. He keeps trying to slow down. So what I'm gonna do is do an about to turn. doing and then up oh, rounding can't get them with her I'm not quite new get out of there I need all of you to concentrate on being at 3k it's don't don't go in there you're gonna take damage let's start fixing that damage up quickly so we've destroyed his engines that is amazing that's a really good result for us uh, the destroying of the engines allows us to do some serious damage um, He's launching assault vessels and boarding vessels on us. We've just killed that little guy. And now we are attempting to try... Yep, and he's just boosted away and skidded into into this dangerous zone for him. So he's just going to be losing health. I, I don't really need to do too much. Uh, again, still got quite a long cooldown on my stasis bomb. And I'm just going to come straight up this uh, in this flanking area here. Ah, there we go. So he tried to jump out. We are victorious! The Space Marines have won. Glory to the Emperor! <laughs> um, so Eldor ships, I managed to... If I didn't have those rock fields, they'd have been able to dance around me. But uh, those rock fields kept them nicely pinned in place. And we managed to use our broadside firepower. We, they're virtually unkillable when they're moving. But as soon as they slowed down to either avoid those fields or to use their boosts, 
Uh, we keep, kept managed to chip at them, and that guy hurt. They they hurt themselves a lot by being in those kind of boulder-strewn fields. So that has been a relatively quick look at the strengths and tactics that you commonly want to use uh, using a Space Marine uh, fleet. Uh, they have quite a few cruisers and they've got their battle barges. Their ships do look a bit shorter, a bit squished up, and, but they do bear some similarities to the Imperial fleets. But the uh, their strengths are those forward-facing, uh, these bombardment cannon turrets which are on the front of their ship as highlighted green there. And what these guns do, they're armor-piercing, so they count as lances. They have the same rules as lances. Uh, they have improved critical chances. Uh, this weapon has more chance than usual to do a critical. And it does heavy damage. Any weapon from this damage can cause temporary or permanent critical damage. So they're, they're generally bad news to be hit by them. And it has uh, 45 damage, so it's very, very good number of damage. And reload time is 15 seconds, so they're like... They're like having a lot of lances on the front of your ship. They're relatively short range, but they have a 270 degree arc to the front. So, going broadside on and continuing to use your fairly standard macro batteries, because the same, these are more or less the same as what the Imperials get. Number of attacks for damage 8, reload time 8 seconds, 6,000 6, meters. These are fairly similar to what the Imperials get. Still relatively short range. Everything in the Space Marine fleet is all about fighting like 6,000 meters or lower, kind of short range, hit them hard, tank them, get into the middle of the enemy fleet and use both sides of your broadside to inflict as much damage as you can while you going on to brace for impact to, to limit even further the amount of damage you take. Anyway, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this uh, quick look at the Space Marine update for uh, Battlefleet Armada, the game. The Space Marine update is available for sale if anybody if you wish to buy it and if you were a beta backer or alpha backer you get this and the rumored the next update uh, update is going to be the Tau. Now it's an unconfirmed rumor but uh, the 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 boards are talking about it and that's also something that those who are the early backers will get for free as well. It's some fun content. They're not overpricing it at the moment. Uh, so and if if you manage to pick it up in the Steam sale, good on you. <laughs> um, as far as I understand, picking your faction at the moment, I'm not sure, because I've got Ultramarines, whether that gives you any different bonuses, makes certain things more expensive or cheap or better abilities or not, because uh, I haven't played the others, but it'd be kind of cool if they did. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you have enjoyed this, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. And if, you, uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. There's going to be more Battlefleet Gothic content in the future. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.